Hello and welcome. This is Cacti Twig as part of the Squad Zero community group. Uh, this is going to be the new part of a new series I'm making, which is much more conversational, where I'm just going to basically just talk about a concept. Uh, just one take and no editing or anything. So what we're going to talk about today is peeling. And for those who don't know peeling, I'm going to be putting out a more detailed video later, but for the moment, just understand that the objective of a peel is to get your unit out of a kill zone with minimum casualties. Basically, you're going to do a peel when you're in a situation where if you attempt to continue pushing towards contact, you're going to get cut up. And if you try to just outright retreat in any direction, you're going to take heavy casualties, usually when you're in an asymmetric position due to geography or enemy numbers. So for this example here, pretend like we're in Gordok. Uh, we're trying to get to this hill for whatever whatever reason. We're up in this hill here. We're going to get there. So we we had just come up this way, and right about when we crest here, the enemy sees us, and they all along all this whole way just start opening fire on us. This is a situation where appeal is about the only way that you're going to realistically be able to recover your unit, in my opinion, of course. So uh, basically what you have to worry about is uh, obviously up here they can, they can have really good vision of the island. Down here they also have good vision. So basically anything in the front half of this aisle that our unit's on is in really good, uh, really easy to shoot. And anybody running across this river is in a high danger of being shot due to the elevation up here. So I would consider this area here to be our kill zone functionally. And the idea is for the peel is just to get our units out of this kill zone without having as many, minimizing the casualties. So the way you start a peel is you would, you would call out peel and then a direction. So we would say peel southwest. And when that you hear that, everybody's going to open fire immediately to suppress the enemy, harass the enemy as much as possible to really prevent them from returning any kind of effective fire anymore. And then pretty immediately, you're gonna have the people, gen generally the people farther away, but it completely varies for you know what, whatever you're doing. These two here, like the two end ones are gonna break fire. And at the same time, these two are going to move out to a better a better position to help. And then once they do that, they are themselves going to begin to return fire and continue suppressing, suppressing the enemy. So, you know, these two would start shooting. They would call, when they got there, they would call set, at which point the next people in line would break fire in this case, probably two and three would break fire. And then, of course, as soon as they start moving, everyone has to be extra diligent because their movement is going to attract a decent amount of enemy attention in the bad way. So maybe these, maybe this guy runs back to this corner of this rock. Maybe this guy just bolts straight back to here. Once they get there, they're going to call out set. They're going to be ready to return immediate fire. Anything that moves, anything that's trying to shoot their friendlies, they're going to be suppressing very hard. This is not a time to be conserving any kind of ammunition for, for a peel, because you're only executing a peel when your squad's at risk of being wiped. So then, you know, to finish the peel, these two would be breaking fire. These guys would move. I'm just making up spots for them. It doesn't have to be perfect. These guys come back to a better position, and then at this point, the peel would be complete. So if I were the squad leader at this point, I would uh, have the units do something else. I think at, at this point... You're, if you can see, they're out of what I would consider the kill zone to the point where their situation at this point is bad, but I wouldn't call it critical. I don't think they're in danger of having their entire squad being wiped out. If they were to try to, you know, if somebody were to get shot, a medic can realistically get to them. So at this point, if I were the squad leader, what I would do is I would have just my right block. If I can do this, I would have the right block uh, put down suppressing fire while my left block came up to the top of the hill and set up here. And then after that, I would have my left block put down suppressing fire while my right block pulled up behind him. That's how I would finish my proceed if I were pulling out completely. But uh, just a couple important notes about appeal in general. There's number one, and I think most important for any procedure is go with the flow. Don't always let always let common sense override any hard doctrine as far as what you think you should be doing. There's never going to be a time when there's this perfect textbook peel set up and everything's going to look beautiful and perfect. It's you just got to go with the flow. Sometimes you're not you're not going to be starting in a nice clean situation. I think even this example here was probably a little bit more clean as far as where you're starting from than you normally would. I think the biggest risk when you're getting a new procedure is you want it to be so textbook and perfect when you call it that you're afraid to ever use it. So just just go with the flow. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be pretty. Just uh you know go with the flow. 
Number two, exposed members are higher priority as far as who's going first. It's completely appropriate whenever uh, calling for appeal to explicitly dictate who's going first. You might say, you know, you, you know, Steve and Charlie, you guys are going first. Then, you know, Steve and Charles would, you know, be the first ones to go. Or you can just have it be automatic. As, as a whole, ideally, you know about where your squad is when you're doing this. So you would know, you know, if you know when you're in a bad spot, usually. Uh, number three, uh, redundant communication in third person is very helpful. So, for example, I'm Cacti Twig. If I were, you know, number four in the situation at the very beginning, I would say Cacti Twig moving. And then when I set, I would just say set. So it's really good because it's kind of hard, especially during appeal. Whenever you try one with your friends, it's it's very loud. Everybody's shooting. So you're going to be wanting to really explicitly say, like, who you are because you're going to hear, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. And it's going to take you a moment to process that. Uh, number four, transition out of appeal as soon as possible. The amount of time that you can properly execute appeal is measured in seconds just because of the amount of ammunition it takes. So, and on that topic also, try your best to conserve ammunition as you're going. It takes a lot of fire to suppress them, but once they're down, you want to be going semi-auto as a rule and just trying to keep their heads down continuously to the point where they're just trying to wait out this wave of fire. And by the time that they're, that wave of fire has deplenished, everybody's reloading at the same time, you don't want to be in a situation where your friendlies are going there. Uh, number five, fire team leaders are primarily responsible during appeal. Usually during appeal, your squad leader is going to be trying to communicate with other squads because if you're in a situation where you're executing appeal, that means that you didn't intend to be in that situation, so you're going to need to communicate that. And number six, avoid friendly fire at all costs. I would love to tell you guys, don't run in front of somebody else as you're peeling. But again, you're going to be all over the place. You're not going to have time to just study a map like we are now and plot the perfect path around. Sometimes you just, you have to be careful if you're putting down suppressing fire. Be aware of your surroundings because the, the goal is time is critical. You're just moving, moving, moving. So that's about all that I have for this. I really just wanted to go over the, the basic concepts of what appeal is, when to use it, and hopefully hopefully this helps you out. So yeah, this is Cacti to Wig. Till next time, take care.